Hi, I'm Myra Ferguson for Jar Productions, and in this video, I'd like to show you how to determine what happens when your embedded video finishes playing. Depending on what content is in your video, you may want your video to go back to the first frame, or you might want it to stay on the last frame. Here's a document with the same video embedded twice on a page. Let's take a look at this first video. Before we play it, it shows the first frame. After it finishes playing, it goes back to the first frame. Now let's take a look at the second video. Before we play it, it also shows the first frame. But after it finishes playing, it stays on the last frame. Let's jump over to InDesign to see how this is set up. When we look at the layout, immediately we can see a difference in the two videos. The one on the left shows the first frame, but the one on the right only shows a placeholder where the video goes. Let's go to Window Interactive Media to see what's happening. With the first video selected, you can see in the Media panel that the poster frame is set to From Current Frame in the drop down menu. Above, there's a slider where I can select a different current frame. If I leave the slider here and hit the Refresh button, then this new frame would be the poster image, but I'm going to leave it as is. Let's select the other video. Now when we look at it in the media panel, we can see that the poster frame is set to none. When you place a video directly on a page, InDesign sets the poster image to the first frame by default. However, if you select a rectangle before placing the video, then InDesign sets the poster image to none by default. Either way, you can always reset the poster frame in the media panel to a specific frame, no frame, or a completely different image. There's one other setting that I want to show you. Let's select the first video again. Go to N5 Interactive Widgets Video. In the Video Settings panel with the first video selected, notice the Auto Rewind option is selected. That option is also the default setting from N5. When I select the second video, you can see that it's deselected. Without Auto Rewind selected, the video will stay on the last frame when it finishes playing. In addition to determining which frame gets displayed after a video plays, you can use the N5 Video widget to set an end action. An end action automatically happens after the video finishes playing and can either go to the next page or to a particular object state of a multi-state object. If you'd like to see how to set a video end action, see how to apply an end action on a video to advance your interactive content in InDesign. With these settings, when I save and export, I can get two different experiences with the same video. Please let us know in the comments how you're setting your poster images and whether or not you're rewinding video in your N5 exported content. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and be sure to check out N5 at n5.us. Thanks so much for watching.